Ready? Yep. Okay, it's Frank Giacorto at Norma's Pizza Stand in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. We're gonna make us the same pizza we have here. And the dough was put into the pan with a little olive oil on the bottom, and we pre-bake it. So that way when a customer calls, they tell them 15 minutes instead of 25. So it cooks twice, so it doesn't sit in your belly there. So it's cooked all the way through. We your have, wife had that frozen there, right? Right, this was frozen, but it's fine now. Usually make them in the morning for that evening. Yeah. Uh, we had one the other day. It was delicious, wasn't it, Norma? It was delicious. Oh, my goodness. It was perfect. That one looks good, too. Oh, it's very nice, yeah. So, in the old days, we make the Nobly Don pie, the round pie. Sometimes, my oldest brother, Vincent, would put the Parmesan cheese and oregano right there in the middle and then go around with the copine. So, it kind of made it evenly all around. But... If you carefully go like this all around, same thing. I think it's good. I like it that way. The same cheese you put on the pasta. And it could be this at the beginning or the end, it really don't matter. So you've got some oregano in the sauce too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Same thing. So. What we have here is white cheddar. A lot of places use this now. To me, when I eat some by itself, it tastes like a, a whole milk mozzarella. And I like the way it melts very much. I've said before that I also like Monterey Jack. But most places, New York style, we use the mozzarella, specialize in part skim. So we'll be eating some of this later. It'll be really good. Go back to the 70s. One of the busier places that I worked was on Post Avenue in Westbury, Long Island. Alfredo uh, Frank's Pizzeria, which is Alfredo's, I believe it's the same family. They started in 62 with that location. My first time working there uh, was, was my first time was six six by ovens and busy place. Fifty flour a week. Fifty fifty pound bag. Yeah, that's right. Fifty bags. Another busy one was at uh, DeRamo in Huntington on Wall Street. DeRamo, Joe and Modesto DeRamo. Hello there, Joe. Hopefully he's still around. I think his son was a district attorney. Worked for him 25 years ago. Generous boss, really generous. Uh, 50 flour every week, 10 bags on a Friday, 10 bags every Friday, no question about it, and 50 cases of mozzarella, 40 from CNF Dairy, and about 38 or 40 pounds a box, and 10 cases of uh, Cremosa, Anthony and Sons Dairy, about 55 or 60 pounds a box. But anyway, 50 flour, 50 cheese, no question about it. Busy place. We do 200 pizzas on a slow Monday. This one is ready. We'll put a little more oregano. In the old days, my one brother used to put a little more sauce on top. Good idea, too. What I'm about to do now, I learned from Ciro Semino. From, uh, Ciro's in Floral Park, original Ciro. He went to heaven. And somebody wanted extra sauce, he would turn the copine upside down and go like this. I really like that effect. Like I say, I learned, each place I go, I learn. Doesn't matter how good you are, you can learn, still learn from each other. I never went around saying that I was the best. I learn every place I go. I even learned it in Norma's Pizza Stand, which I think is great. Now we got a square cook, and we'll let that cook before we make the round pie. We don't have too much space. I thought I put a little container oil here. Uh, I know I took one of those little jars. Oh, 